It's Ireland's biggest party. 80,000 people. And it could have been perfect if it wasn't for this terrible weather. So, first time ever coming to Ireland. Obviously, first time ever at Electric Picnic, Ireland's biggest music event. Was it any good? Did we have fun? I know that's what you all want to know. And the answer to this one is... That was the shortest flight I'll ever go on, no doubt. Probably the shortest flight you can go on. I feel like Kylie Jenner on private. Once again, we need to find car. the car. car. We have got a car for the weekend. It was car. just the 100 squid, nice and cheap. Corsa or similar? Similar. Was it 100 quid? Yeah, it was 100 quid, but I'm a man who's paid like six quid for a weekend of car rental before. That's true. Since landing, I've had a couple of interactions with people and so far, everyone's been really nice. And my previous impression of Ireland was me and Danny getting jumped. So I've always been a little intimidated by Ireland, but everyone's been really nice. Skoda, Skoda, Skoda. It's gonna be one of those days. Skoda, 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 Skoda. Where's the Skoda? Find the Skoda. Can you say Skoda? Look at that piece of shit. I don't think that's a piece of shit. I think they're all right, these little Fabias. She's a Skoda lining, Lone Ranger riding God. through an open space. She stood on my foot. We need a camping shop and it's Decathlon, yeah? It's 8.15. Yeah, cool, cool. It opens at 10. Mackie's! Oh, that is annoying. Mackie's first. Uh, two hour McDonald's. Yeah. Fresh, you're gonna, uh, gonna reverse? It can't be that. Literally, it doesn't go in reverse. Like, the clutch is down. Right, so I'll get, so get a YouTube video. Usually, I like a lot I've of things. never seen that. Wait. Oh. Push it down. You weren't pushing it down. Even I know That's, how to push it down. You know I've never seen one where I've, you have to push I've it down never. in my life. I forgot about that. That is bollocks. What's, sto what's stopping us from grabbing a crown? The law. The uh, when we get to the till and we go, how'd you get that? Well, it was here. So because we've flown into Ireland, couldn't bring any camping stuff or festival gear with us. So we need to go to Decathlon mm -hmm. to buy something. Expensive and we can't take it home with us either. So it's going to be annoying. Thanks very much to the people at Sports on Patreon that allow us to make the purchase we that we're about you. to make. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> Because we've got to wait for Decathlon to open, we're just playing a quick game of hide and seek. For my strategies, I've gone for as far back as I can. I thought I'd be a bit more enclosed in here. I'm coming! Someone's got to be behind one of these. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tent for us. That's the tent, so two can sleep on that side, and then we can live in the middle, and then two can sleep at the other side. Four sleeping bags, 15 yards each. No problemo, sounds oh. good to me. So we've got the essentials, we've got a tent, we've got four sleeping bags and a dartboard. Yeah, we're missing cool. chairs and airbeds, but we're gonna get them at the festival. They're like less essential than the dartboard. We've got the hammer and the dartboard. That's the main thing we came for. God, I wish Fat Frank was here. I've got water. It's the first time we've come to a festival with like truly nothing, just a bit of an idea for budget. Car, 100 quid, flights, about 130 for everyone. Camping stuff there, about 260. Come to another Tesco to get some booze because they, they weren't selling booze at the time we were there. All these shopping trolleys have cup holders. Do you need that when you're shopping? We've got to get some Snoop Dogg wine. It'd be good to get the Snoop Dogg wine. Sling it in. Yes, sir. Just got the booze from Tesco, or at least most of it. 167 euros. A bit more than I'd have liked, but that's for four people, so not bad. Being in Ireland for like two hours, we've been to Decathlon, three Tesco's, fucking the range, Halfords and Argos, and nowhere has chairs, wellies, or a sleeping bag. Seems like everyone's had the same idea in Ireland. So we're just gonna go without and hope that we can get them at the festival. Uh 
Oh god, that was torture getting in. Must have been sat in that car for like three hours in traffic, just not moving, barely moving. Finally, somewhere I think we should be now to get our wristbands. I don't want to come across negative right now. So I'm gonna pass it over to you, Chop. Yeah, you can pass it to me. Still not where we need to be. Still no one knows where to send us. It's getting a bit too warm now. And it turns out we've got to go all the way back to where we started, where the first guy said, not here, mate. You've got to go out the exit and go all the way down there. Once again, it's a common occurrence. Just send us a completely wrong direction. The issue with Reading and Leeds being so flawless, this has been far from flawless, and then it seems even worse. It's the same issue at every festival, and it's not the festival's fault. It's the stewards who none of them have any fucking idea where anything is. Like, they'll point you in a direction, assuming, like, you've no idea where we're trying to go, so don't try and point us in it. Like, speak to us. I'm really grateful to be at this festival, and I'm pleased that they've had us, and it, it means a lot, so I'm going to reserve from explaining to you how torturous that fucking process was of just getting here. And we're still not in, and we've still not got a wristband. I kind of have moaned a bit there, but I think I did it in the best intention with the best way. Right, let's go. That's interesting that they've yeah. shipped that piece of wall over to Ireland since last weekend. We got into Ireland at 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m. It's now almost 5 p.m. We finally got our response. It's not been a great start, to be honest. It's been a, a bit of a wasted day. Where the fuck has all that time gone? I am fucking knackered. We've got like maybe four hours to, to get set up, get lit, see Megan and explore because we want to show you what's going on, obviously, at the festival. You know what? I reckon we're going to be so tired but we won't need an airbed. I don't think... I've, I didn't have an airbed at truck, mate, and it was literally fine. Really? Yeah, it was actually all right, you know. So what time did we get here? One. One. Okay, so that's... Four second. hours of Four hours. fucking around. But I'll tell you something I've learned this year. Stuart has one job and one job only, and that's to get you out of his way or out of her way. They just want to get you past them and then uh, someone else's problem. We're going to hire really good ones for TPD Fest. Two right. It's going to be you, mate, man in the gates. That's fine. Let's go. Well, we made it, Chalk. We did. Oh. You happy? I will when I've had a, another pint, I think. Oh, she's looking good. But the test is in the pudding. That's the taste, right. The taste is in the... The pudding's going to taste... We're going to find out what it tastes like first. Shut up. Folks, I am beyond thrilled to let you know that this video is sponsored by our friends at EcoFlow. EcoFlow are one of the leading providers of eco-friendly energy solutions for at home and on the go. And this weekend, we're going to be using the Delta 2, a 1024 watt hour portable battery to power our weekend. This thing is absolutely insane. 1800 watts of AC power output. You can run 15 devices at the same time and it'll run over 90% of household appliances while you're on the go. What's on that iPod? Oh, there's a lot on here. This thing charges incredibly quickly. It uses extreme technology to charge from zero to 80% in just 50 minutes and from zero to 100% in 80 minutes, seven times faster than other power banks on the market. So if we forget to charge it the night before, we can just charge it an hour before the festival and we're good to go. And you can use the sun to charge it from solar within three to six hours if you've got the 500 watt solar panel. And what's great is you can use the app to check up on things like how much power you've got, how much input and output it's putting out, and most importantly, just to check up on the Delta 2. This thing lasts for ages. It's got a 1024 watt hour battery capacity, and that can even be doubled or even tripled with all the add-ons for the Delta 2. That's unheard of! This thing is long lasting and it's safe. It uses the same kind of batteries that are inside of Tesla. It'll do 3,000 life cycles. That's six times the industry average. So you can charge it once a day for up to 10 years. It only weighs 27 pounds. So it's super lightweight and easy to travel with. Take it in your camper van, in your car, in your caravan, or Put it in your tent like us, just to plug in all your appliances you need. Folks, we've got some pretty cool ideas with how we can use the Delta 2 at this festival to provide us with some pretty cool entertainment. This is more than just a battery. It's something super useful and super cool that we've needed for a long time. So be sure to check out the link in the description to grab yourselves one of the Delta 2s. It is going to change the way we do things. Step one, we're going to get some food because we've only had a Mackey's breakfast and a couple of bags of crisps today. We're going to get some food, then we're going to have a look for a camping shop and see if we can get an airbed and a tent and chairs. some chairs and some wellies. And if we can, great. If we can't, hey ho. <laughs> so it only took two seconds to find another pizza place, which yeah. does take card. That's what we like. We've that got some, like. we've got a round of pizzas. Let's see if they're any good. Yeah. All right, folks, 15 euro each, so 60 quid. Let's have a gander, yeah. see what they look like. Pepperoni. 
Oh, that looks good, you know. Lovely. It was very nice. The cheese was quite good. I need to stop drinking Red Bull because I literally have. Since April and the unmentioned event, I've gone from having maybe one Red Bull a month to 20 a week because we drink vodka Red Bulls. Send us that fridge. You know, it has been a ropey start to the day. We're up super early on a plane, had to buy shit, couldn't find shit. We're knackered and I'm sure we're gonna have a great night tonight. Tomorrow, when we actually go around and look at everything at the festival, the first impressions are this place looks pretty special to me. It looks like a cross between like Boomtown, a standard like Leeds Fest type thing, but with a little bit of like latitude sprinkled into it. You'll see what I mean by that and I'll, and I'll prove that statement right by the end of this video. Cheers gang. Cheers team. The first drink at the festival. It's been a long day. God, I'm annoyed again, man. I'm annoyed again. We went to a camping shop. We need uh, like 130, 140 pounds worth of camping gear for this weekend. Obviously that's no problem. Like we expect to pay. Whip the card out. Sorry, we only take cash. Got to walk across the site, shouting over this music, looking for a fucking cash machine. So even after trekking across the entire site, going to the cash machine, putting my card in, trying to withdraw a couple hundred euros for the weekend, it's just declining for no reason. I feel like I'm contractually obliged to say the only place to get your airbeds from is our homie Fat Frank. Lads at the camping shop, sound as fuck, a couple of really nice guys. They even know about Fat Frank, so that was kind of cool. We couldn't pay him, couldn't do a bank transfer, couldn't do a Revolut, can't get cash out, and they don't have a card machine. There's four ways there that we could have paid and, um, and we just couldn't make it happen. So unfortunately, we're sleeping on the ground and we don't have any chairs. Today's just been a bundle of joy, mate. It's just been such a blessing that everything has slightly gone wrong. It's not gone wrong enough to be like, day's ruined completely, but it's just slightly gone wrong enough to go like, that's just so inconvenient. I don't know if we talked about it on the Reading vlog, because I've not edited it yet, but the camp shop there, their card machine stopped working. And he just gave us like 90 quid worth of stuff on the promise that we'd come back and pay. And of course we did just that. But that was nice like element of trust that I didn't necessarily expect from a random festival stall. And I'm not saying they should have done that with us because you know, I, I don't think I would do that if I'm running a business, but it was just a cool little anecdote from Reading. I, I'm pretty stressed. Yeah. Well, do you know what? No, I'm not actually, I'm not stressed. But I know you get yeah. stressed as easily as I do. Yeah. So I got you a little gift. Oh, for me? I got a little gift for the homie. For me, again. Yeah, it's a small gift. Um, if you remember during the Arctic Monkeys, mm -hmm. you gave me one of your fags. Yes, indeed. So I've got you a pack oh, of wonderful. Marlboro Golds. Just Excellent. a little gift. my favourite. Do you like my Marlboro favorite. Golds? They're my favourite okay, cigarettes. Because they only came in packs of 200. <laughs> <laughs> what so, on earth, so there man? You go, mate. Oh. That's because that's because you gave me one cigarette. At oh, well, Monty. I guess I gotta give you a couple more. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, I love you, brother. Right then, homies. Remember, Jake Shags rugby players. Wait, Let's get this night started with the four loco. Cheers, and cheers to you all at home. Cheers, this is bro. the unofficial end of the festival season, so thanks for joining. We've still got more to come, don't worry. But it's kind of like the unofficial end, isn't it? So until next time. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Stop twerking. Stop twerking. Get ready for Megan the Stallion. So I'm getting my twerks ready. How's my twerks looking from behind, boys? I need a, need a few more G-Force. Fucking oh, okay, hell, this shit works, man. I've never seen how this twerk in your life, you. Right, we've had half a fall worker. And a couple of other drinks today as well. I feel, I feel pretty good. We're off for shit, so let's have a look at the feeling, toilets. Feeling good. Yeah. Not bad, to be fair. I've just wiped it with the baby wipes, so that's why it's moist. It looks all good. Right, fellas. Oh, the flash has come on. Oh, that means it's oh, time, time, time for the big times. Hard it's time for Megan. Hey, you. I can't believe how fucking busy this is, man. Jesus. I love the atmosphere. I really do. There's another bar like, on the opposite side. Well, everyone has the same the idea, won't they? Well, I've just felt some raindrops, which could mean the start of this famous torrential rain. Maybe we'll look back on this clip and think there was no to worry about. Maybe we'll look back on this clip and think, oh dear. Little did we know. In the interest of getting cunted, my god, that's bright when you're tired. We're gonna get two because we need to get fucked and we're tired and we need to have a good time tonight. Hell yeah, bitch. Yep. What's up, guys? Yeah. If you want real honey, let me say real hot girl shit. Real hot girl shit. Rich bitch pussy. Make you cook before it's wet. Seven days a week, 
Biffy. If you're not wet as Biffy, then, then you're, you're whiffing a week. Yeah, a bucket and a mop for this wet ass Biffy. Body crazy ass, very big titties, little waist. Body crazy. Big titties, bald head. Body, 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 body. I like that Megan's like really there for the fans, gets the fans on stage to shake their ass with them shit. Megan! Megan! You can't be just putting anyone on the stage. They've got to at least be over 18, guaranteed. That's not cool. I don't want to see a potential under 18 year old throw it back on stage with you. I was just looking over there and thinking about Driver 3 and how underrated of a game it was. What the that's fuck so, am I watching that's here? So like, no, oh, bro, that's just, that's like, that's so bad. Cause it's like, that's just anyone from crowd. Alright, so we're off to see the acclaimed performer. I don't know if he's a DJ. I don't know what he is. I don't know what he does. Fred again. All I've heard all year is how good Fred again is. Let's have a gander for ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to literally the most rammed tent I've ever seen in my fucking life. And I've seen I've seen Ed Sheeran playing the Festival of Republic stage at Leeds Festival. Look at how fucking mental this is. We have got no fucking chance here. I mean no disrespect to Fred again, like it's just not gripping me tonight. I, I do gen generally like. Yeah, but, yeah, but what did you say about him last time? What did I say about him last time? He said Fred again. Yeah, no, Fred again is the guy again. on. Yeah, but what did you say about him last time? Why is it? You say something about him now? But what, what? He's very revered and very highly uh, critically acclaimed. And I like EDM as much as the next man, but unfortunately the Bacardi bar sounded pretty good. So we've given it a try and now we're gonna go get some Bacardi. Bacardi bars where it's fucking hot. Yeah. Man, this is so fucking rammed in here. Literally, I feel like I'm on Titanic in third class. Really get annoying. some drinks. I, I fucking love one. Oh, thank you very much, mate. I appreciate that. The island's great. This festival's great. Except for one thing for me, no one fucking smokes. We stood here like five minutes, just like looking around to see if anyone else has got a fucking cigarette. So I can be like, ooh, can I borrow your lighter? No one's got a fucking lighter, man. Two things, um, 101 euro round, the first three figure round since Coachella. And I know what you're thinking, why was it so expensive? Like, yeah, we did buy eight strawberry daiquiris. People, I was so fucking rude at the bar, not staff, but like just general punters. The Irish seem so nice until it hits the bar and then they're pushing and shoving in front of you. We paid a girl who pushed in front of us and we said, we'll, we'll buy your two drinks if you order ours as well. And that's Ke it. Kel's that got cooked by a bird, so <laughs> <laughs> It's a war zone in there, boys. It's a war zone. And I don't have a season pass or even Xbox Live Gold. I'm a silver member. Yeah. Rob, what? I need to be fucked up to Man, we are getting fucked no, up. No, I, I need, need to be up. like fucked up to me sleeping on like, sleeping on fucking gravel, like fucking, like camp, like refugee camp, man. I need to be fucked up. I need to be like, tricking my mind that I'm toasty. We're on it, brother, we're on it. I need to trick myself like I'm in fucking like, um, Magaluf. I need to trick myself and be like, yeah, rock and roll. Well, we found yeah. somewhere popping, and it's, the, of all places, it's the official Schweppes bar, baby. Schweppes. Yeah. The following line has been censored. Right, Schweppes has been the best part of the night so far. I think Valley and Chucky are flogging a bit, flagging a bit. Flogging a bit. I think, flogging Molly. I'll tell you what they're not doing. Vlogging a bit. He's hey, popping hey. over there. Yeah. Oh, I can see some flashing lights. Folks, we're a little sick of looking for somewhere right at the minute that's going to be good. So we found this little cabin here, and I think we know just what to do. Let's go.
about this festival is quite a few things are like a secret but they're only a secret in a sense of like you know they exist so they're not that much of a secret but you have to find them we're looking for a rave at the minute there's apparently a massive rave in the woods you what what all right you start filming me man what's up this isn't the secret rave no. what's up with you're this? right it's like being at boomtown i weren't there but i couldn't imagine this is just were you like not there it. no oh you'd have loved it bro next year yeah yeah, yeah a bit warm for you though bit warm yeah perfect man hey get guys some, get some fucking vlog i'll already. tell you what raz hello raz welcome no to no, no 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 shut up you haven't been to boomtown right? but the whole of boomtown is like this like little suburbs little streets right so i'm interested to see what you make of this yeah it's nice no like we've just walked in no. i'm interested to see sincerely what you think of it What your mum doing up there, Jake? I'm bitch stole what my, my, bitch stole my job. That's out for the boy! Not being Boomtown, but I know what's up. There's a room there, and we're gonna go find out what it is. So let's go. Come along! I mean, I, I don't really know, to right. be honest. Over there, and then left, I think there were more rooms. His name's Taz, and he's from Looney Tunes, and he's a Tasmanian devil, that's why it's called Taz. And he goes, blah, 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 blah. Weather's turning, actually. Wait, 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 the weather's wait, wait, turning. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on there? For me, that. Why? Hey, oh. uh, big up McDonald's doing fucking all day breakfast from October, whatever. Morris. Fucking no. finally, boys, Morris. we made it. All day breakfast and Mackey's, man. <laughs> I love it. But I, but, but, fuck. The weather's turning hard, and everyone is leaving the arena and coming into this area. I've got a good, I've got a good idea. What? Let's go into that shitty rave room down there. Just, yeah, yeah, good idea. It's now pissing down spill for the next 48 hours. Let's go back to the tent and fuck about for a bit. Yeah. Guys, it's really hard to film bad weather. And um, this has been a challenge we've had for a long time. But I think if you're ever going to see a vlog, that encapsulates bad weather it's gonna be this one because i've been practicing my technique check this out i think we've accidentally found the secret rave i think we've accidentally found it man it's, it's, and it's pretty good isn't it? this is awesome molly it's you Literally, I know where we're going. Oh, Chucky knows. But Raj wants to check them out, even though I know where we're going. Right, look, I'll follow you. Cool. Ooh, this weather's bad, isn't it? Let's go that way. It's easier. It's weird here because I've got a hood up and I've got, um, you know, beer jacket on and that because I've had a lot to drink. So uh, the weather's not really affecting me too much. And in my head, it's like quite tame. But then I see the rain pouring in front of a light and I realize. This is torrential right oh. now. I don't know about these, man, but didn't we pack some ponchos? That's true. And did you bring your poncho with I you? I did. I think I brought mine with me. I've had this poncho since 2017 Leeds Fest. We're from that way. Is this Charlie I promise Johnson? you. Sorry, We're that Oscar way. Huh? Oscar we have no idea, but I don't need No, that's OJ Simpson. Anyway. I got this at Leeds 2017 <laughs> and it's gone in my bag to every festival and she didn't appreciate that did she? It's gone in my bag to every festival I've ever been to since 2017 and now it's coming out for tonight Jake Valley oh, That was a big raindrop that one Do you know what I mean? I'm not, I don't know if this is how it goes I don't think it is I think I'm going to suffocate actually Oh here we go 
Oh, look at Chuck. <laughs> We're on. This That's how we're designed. Eight. Check out, point the phone up there, look at that weather. I don't, I don't have a poncho. Well, I mean, it's a bit of a lie. I do have a poncho. It is in my pocket, but I can't be asked getting it out. And I don't want to waste my poncho for this walk home when I could use it maybe for a full day tomorrow. So I'm going to save my poncho and maybe just get this shirt wet because if the shirt's wet and it's raining tomorrow, then I don't need the shirt. Thank you. Raz, how are you feeling? How are you feeling, Raz? Wow, that's so insightful from Raz, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Raz. Raven the Woods is this way, and this is the way we need to go to our campsite. So does that mean Oh my God, is that the rave there? Yeah, is that the, the secret rave, rave there <laughs> after all this? Is that hey, the secret rave? Well, it's up with a bit of rain, eh? I can't believe that on our, on our commute home, we found the secret rave in the woods. All it took was the rain. They, they, they should keep it a secret. Oh, be it. Be rave yourself. Go! Let's go! I'll tell you what, we're in here raving, and that's the face of a man who's done about 10 festivals in a row and still doesn't know to prepare for some rave. Because he's too busy preparing for some. Jig Valley! Well, our friends have literally just gone that way. Our friends have literally just gone that way. Why can't we go that way? Because it was what left off, it's the exit only. Right, we've literally got to go that way. Yeah, like he's just gone that way. Well, what the issue is, you just let loads of people just go this way, have you not? We can't go that way, go back here. Robin has not come this way. Yeah. When we watch two people behind us while we were talking to him, just go this way. And like, what's stopping us? You know. Like, look, they go that way, he's gone that way. <laughs> Right, Chalk, it's been a wild ride. It has been, but the night's not over, mate. I don't know why you're acting. The night's not over? As if we, we're going to go to a tent and just go... Why, what are you thinking? Oh, mate, I'm going to go. No, mate, yeah. come on. Come on, nice still young. We've got some funny stories. We're going to have do a we? laugh. Yeah, of course we do. Well, course let's we have do. a piss first and then we'll get yeah. in there. Remember, before you stand on here, take your shoes off. Hey, what's you go get food. I'll have yeah. one, mate. I'll have one. I'll really have with a fork, mate. Boom. Boom. Okay. They're nice. You're going to have to have a piss outside the door roll. Yeah, I just had a piss outside. You just go outside and piss, mate. Oh, you got water for everyone? Yeah, no way. I had a water earlier. Oh, that is a great move. Thanks. Hey, I'll tell you what. I've got something for you as well. For me? It's an abroad version of something that we like very much. Yeah. What we've got, because obviously it's like a lifeline for us, like we normally get Barocca, but because we're in like wherever we are, I've got these. And I, I don't know How'd what that say says. How do you say it? Ginseng. Gun Ginseng. 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 Gu Ginseng. I don't know, but it's like a Chinese. Ginseng. Or like Eastern Asian version of a Barocca. So I'm, I'm going to have my water in the morning and I'm going to put one of these in. Is anyone else saving their water for the yeah, morning? I'm save mine for the morning. All right, well, give us a knock and we've got these like Asian Barocca's to have. Oh my God, this is that rain. I love it, mate. It's heaven on earth, that. Nothing gets my cock harder than like, it's the same as when we're in the RV, like when the elements are like furiously against you. But you know you're you're safe, and there's no those elements can do. I love it. It makes my dick swell. We've got big gut under tent there and there, so it's not like the elements can't get in here. The elements can get in here, but they're not good. Man, this tent was 160 quid. They're not gonna get in here. What's going on? To me. Your face and your body is such a different colour. I know. It's, uh, I'm, you know what mate, I'm a well-travelled man. Oh, well, Have you had a nice night? Oh, we can come back. Yeah. 
Are you familiar with the children's program 50-50? Morning. It seems to have rained all night. It's going to be an interesting day. Probably mostly spent inside the tent. Morning, boys. Morning. Morning. How are we feeling? Bad. I got a really bad back this morning. Yeah. While he was trying to spoon me all night. Typical. <laughs> he rises. He <laughs> rises the fucking mummy over here. <laughs> Look at the wash you like. It's a cold morning. This horrible shirt out of the way. I'm just popping on the wall, the wet jeans. Because I'm off to get a coffee. Wow, I'm a bit bored, to be honest. Oh, they are s Oh, do you know what? Yeah, they're soaking wet. <laughs> so as we venture out now into the abyss. I got your burger last night. We don't know what we might find. Get your horrible Jordans on and let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just taking my time here. I've got to get ready to brave the storm. See you on the other side. It's a little bit of rain. It sounded worse in the tent. The last night was good. Yeah. Got absolutely hammered, mm -hmm. as per fucking usual. The only way to do it. Right then, Chuck. Yeah. So it looks like there's a big queue for the toilets. There is a big queue for the toilets. Interestingly, there's a few toilets over there that, that no one's going in. And I want to know why. Do you really want to know? Can you not on. leave it to I'm, your imagination to find out? <laughs> I've got a toilet like that at home. The biggest challenge for me today is figuring out how to carry these four coffees to the cab. I'm sure I'm going to drop them, so watch this space and the next shot you see will either be everyone drinking the coffee or coffee on the floor. I did it! Everyone's fine, everyone's got the coffees. Say so cheers boys with your coffees. Cheers, cheers boys, boys coffees. with your coffees. So it's, um, what, maybe 12pm? Yep, it's literally half five past twelve. And I'm bored. I've already stood up and sat back down and that didn't cure my boredom. So we're gonna have a quick game of darts. Bullseye, I guess. Bullseye, yeah. I guess. I'd say the outer rim of the bullseye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 19, I think. That was straight in the bull. Uh, What's that back? That was 20. Yeah, I'd say that was double 20. Yeah. Imagine just on that. <laughs> right, last one. Uh, that was like 15. Oh, oh, straight on the bullseye! I'd say that Game was the outer rim again of the bull. GG! Good game. No good rim. Game. <laughs> Volley! Oh, turn it off. Oh, loud. He's drawn a beard. I hate it. Come on, man. Look, I've been waiting all festival season to be able to use my hair dry. And guess what? Now I've got the Delta 2, I can use it. And guess what? It's going to make my festival experience a whole lot better. It's going to make yours a lot worse. I guarantee it. Hey, Chuck, I know it'll make you feel better. Loads of warm air. Oh, <laughs> stop that. Global Green, Eco Area. Yeah, Eco Village. Shall we, shall we go and have a look? Let's have a yonder. I think I'm going to get one of them. Yeah? <laughs> not, not good. <laughs> guess, guess I'll throw up. I've lost my sense of smell. I'm not even joking. That was all shit. I'm not even joking. I can't taste it. <laughs> I'm not even joking. But I could taste those almonds a second ago. She's sexy. God damn, what's her name? <laughs> you bought her a drink? Yeah, I got her a drink. <laughs> cool. That's yours now. So we're playing that game where you throw the bean bags in the, in the board, which is a game I see everywhere now. I hadn't seen it anywhere before this year. And we start playing, but then we realise it's a charity thing for um, kids with cataracts. So they give you these glasses, right? These 3D glasses, well, they're not 3D. These, these glasses which simulate what it's like for a kid with cataracts. So this is, this is what it looks like for them. Yeah. And it looks a bit like Jake Valley's phone camera, to be honest. <laughs> Greasy. Um, but I think that was a nice spin of like, taking something that's fun and still was fun but also putting a, a serious spin on it and it makes you grateful for what you've got like almost 110,000 subscribers they're, they're. what you got there these are body wipes oh so they're just like baby wipes yeah no, because we're electric picnic and megan's here they're actually body yaddy yaddy wipes <laughs> um, <and> really <laughs> <laughs> what you'll notice about them is they're quite large 
<laughs> oh my god! Um, and they're over a metre long, <laughs> and I used one of these before we came back from Leeds. What the fuck? And that's that's a big wipe, so it's like a pre-wet towel, so you can just wipe it all over your, your body, oddy, 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 <laughs> and, and feel fresh, so that's what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> Irish people, and I don't want to stereotype because positive stereotypes are bad as well. But Irish people are just so fucking nice, yeah, man. Really like, nice. so, so nice. I've not met a rude or unfriend, like, actively. Everyone's actively friendly. What the fuck's going on in here? We'll fucking find out. What, what else were we doing? Nothing. So let's find out. I think it's a really good <laughs> festival for having stuff to do that doesn't just require you to be absolutely hammered. So, I really appreciate shit like this. I think more festivals should always have stuff like this for everyone. Do you know what? I would like to get a clip in Dreadlock because I think it would be funny, but I'm worried that it would be cultural appropriation. It it depends. Like it's not worth even attempting. Like it? it's so it's gonna it's gonna it's upset not, it'll, it'll be funny. For, so just imagine me with the dreadlock yeah, viewers. Hit, hit, no, Image of you with uh, clip on. Dreadlock. I'm not even gonna do that. Even that's like dipping my toes a bit too much in the water. So if you download the Coca Cola app, you get some free sunglasses. So I love free shit. So we're gonna do just that. Hey up, God, these make me look fully on the spectrum, don't they? These are, these are coming, I appreciate them, and I love free shit, but these are coming straight off. Man, you sell out for a drink so quick. Ah, the Faffmeister General is back. Me? Yeah. How am I faffing? Because I'm waiting on you, I'm ready, I'm good to go, and you're, I, I'm, we're waiting to go meet Rob, and you're just taking your time. Look, all I'm doing is just straightening my mouth, because sometimes they curl up a little bit. So I'm just straightening yeah. my mouth a bit with the Delta 2, and guess what? Then we can go meet Rob. Well, guess what? He's gonna be faffing around anyway with chop. But it? you're faffing, and I know we've got the Delta 2, but even, even that ain't gonna fix your problems, mate. Hurry up, is what I'm trying to say, just hurry up, mate. Do you want to borrow these after me? Yeah, absolutely. Luckily, I am an adult, but I think I'm going to get hard checked right now for my height on this. Something, I don't know what the significance of it is, I don't know what it means, but there's what's called an orange weather alert today, which doesn't sound too bad because red's worse than orange. Here we go! <laughs> As if we won't wait. Do you know, having the seats at the back of the arena that anyone can go in is a great idea. Yeah, we, I, I did it at Latitude and I watched the Chemical Brothers and it was fucking sick. I don't know about you, but I'm having a really good time, eh? Oh, We're here at the Spice Box Central, which says voted the best Spice Box in Ireland. They sell Spice Box for 11 quid. What the fuck is a Spice Box? I don't fucking know, man, but I do know one thing, but it's gonna be spicy, I think. I hope so. So I've learned that Spice Box is chips with chicken and peppers and onions and curry sauce. It clearly must be a thing, because that guy was just like, I have a Spice Box. Like, never heard of it. Look how fucking nice that looks, man. Jesus, are you kidding me? Look how nice that looks. We're gonna sit under this tree and eat it. To be honest with you, best Spice Box I've ever had, that. Best spice box I've ever had. On it, where, where, where's it? On the um, little ranking. Out Number one. Out of? Out of one. Oh, cool. Very, very good. First of all, I just want to say, I'm really happy to be here. I'm having a really nice day, and I'm really glad that we're out here venturing about. This is awesome. This is what I live for, and I'll really miss this in a few weeks when we can't do it anymore. I'm gonna go get some merch. Oh, I'm gonna look at the merch. I'm hoping they've got some socks, because we got the Reading socks, we got the Leeds socks, and I think socks are a great piece of merch, because they're cheap, but they're cool and unique, so let's have a look at what they've got. No socks, unfortunately, and uh, I would have. I was this close to buying the Megan Thee Stallion shirt, but for 35 pound, I think that's better in my bag or spent at the bar yeah. than, than having the Megan top because I don't really like her that much. It would just be a cool top. Hey, what matters is we're real hot girl shit. That's inside. right, real hot boy shit right real here. Real hot boy shit. When are the men going to start getting some fucking recognition? The person at the bar was truly lovely. Everyone here is lovely. Yeah. But because we don't have our IDs, <laughs> we couldn't get an alcoholic drink, so I got a pint of tonic water. I so I was going to get a gin and tonic. I got a pint. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, rock and roll. Woo. It is getting much more strict, that. We were talking with the member of staff, and they said, yeah, it's really being cracked down on. I am starving. I've literally barely had oat to eat. Um, that pizza was not very good today. What's he doing? Just listen to some music. Own, what are you doing? 
What? What are you, what are you listening to? Just listening to a gin and juice Snoop Dogg, mate. Look at him, we have it private listening to. <laughs> 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 what are you listening to? We're at a festival, man. man. Have we not got like a Bluetooth speaker or anything? Oh, like What's nicking our power? I think EcoFlow Delta 2. I know we've got loads of power there. Well, the EcoFlow Delta... Oh. Ah! Oh. Let's, put, let's put some music on yeah. for all of us, eh? Stop being selfish. I'm going in now. It's party time, boys. Oh, it's that is mad that that's power in the iMac G4. That's, that draws a lot of power and it's literally got no no issue. We had to dance to a, a copyright free song, so hopefully we don't get struck by ourselves, by the copyright ID. Oh, he's perked up now, eh? No, he's... Yeah. <laughs> Pull it to the side. What else have we got on here? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that copyright. That That's copyright. Luckily, yeah. luckily, luckily, the pro speakers distorted so much you probably can't tell what it was. Okay, I'll tell you what, right? Yeah. Oh god, it's warm in here. Get me out of here, man. I need some food. Jump it. Of course, you don't want to get Jordan's dirty, do you? They're already a bit dirty. Right. They're fresh this morning. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, man. 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 Oh, man.
torrential rain um, for maybe a good 12 hours I'd say um, but here I stand in the main arena looking at the main stage and there's nothing but green grass all over the place no mud whatsoever blue blue skies <laughs> down inevitably for the next 16 hours we're gonna head back to the car because we've got four crates of alcohol in the car that will just go in the bin if we don't drink them didn't you say we're gonna stop raining at two this is what festivals have been great at this year creating an illusion as far as i'm aware right now i'm stood on snow in the swiss alps or something so i've just saved about 800 quid in a holiday Guys have cleared everybody. Yeah. And they said, they said, they said, this will be a short lived celebration, I reckon. Right then, we can't find the car, so I'm going to show you a little trick. And I'm hoping this is going to work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the vlog footage oh. and I'm going to find the clip from when we got into the site, which looks to be here. And I'm going to swipe up and it's going to give me the location in which that was shot in. And then I should be able to navigate directions to there. Uh, so about how, how do you do that? Next clip you see will be at the car and it'll be because of this. Right then gang, this is our next couple of hours. Yeah. Sat in the car. 
trying to drink through some of the fucking five crates we bought. I'm gonna play the logo game. This is where I got smacked in the head last night. Yiki da, I think they say in Ireland. Ice cold. Put light on it. Oh. Rob's just had a look, and because we don't have a corkscrew opener. Yeah. Why are you trying to open a corkscrew? Because I'm trying. Um, apparently, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> you can put the wine in a shoe, whack it, and it'll just pop right out. So I'm using Rob's shoe. Why don't you do it against the tire of the car? So we're gonna leave it there for a sec and see what happens. And here we see the cave. <laughs> Trying to start a fire. Snoop is not happy. That's a whole kill. This is what you get for not coming to your tour dates for two years in a row. <laughs> Channel your OJ Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> right, who wants some? Nah, yeah. I don't like red wine. It's, you know what? Fair play, Snoop. Tastes a bit corky. Right. You have it. You have a try of absolutely not. Come on, man, I right. haven't tried that hard for you to not. Right, <laughs> it's warm. All right, <laughs> so let me let me touch it. It's probably not that warm. Yeah, but it's pretty warm. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like nice warm cough medicine. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even feel it. Touch your lips. Oh, come on, you can. So we're here in Ireland, yeah, yeah. and unfortunately that means we can't be in London That's true. to watch the That's Taylor true. Hawkins tribute concert live at Wembley in person. Yeah. So we're watching it as we get a bit drunk this evening in the yeah. car. So we raise a glass to Mr. Hawkins, yeah. one of the greatest to ever do it. That's, that's not a glass. Damn, light him up. Let's see the people. Show them the challenge. If you've never seen Foo Fighters before, then you fucking want to see them. The best thing is when you have to put that in. They're going to just be my hero. We're going to Manchester to see Dave Grohl and the Foo Fighters. I've been awake since like six because I'm that excited. Leeds Festival 2012, Milton Keynes 2011, Manchester 2015. This is so. It's a memory of Taylor. No, it's good for us, but like, it's not good for Taylor. us when we need a car again, is it? In Ireland. <laughs> Don't say their name. I'm, I'm Bleep it out, then, you, Mr. Editor. <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> I'm not covering my face up. So I'm covering up the flash from my eye. Right, let's go. Come on. Uh, give me one of these crate cans, then, and we'll get rid of. <laughs> Hell yeah. Are you 
you ready? I was born this ready. This looks good. Wow. Right underneath as well. Yeah, love it. You said in the set list the first couple of songs were shit, but this is actually one of their really good songs. Uh, Bad news, yeah. we're all out of Red Bull. Perfect. <laughs> Here's something I don't appreciate. When you go for a shit at a festival, you need a couple of seconds to like center yourself before you shit. And it's really fucking like annoying when someone just starts like trying the door handle or like starts banging on the fucking door this band is brilliant he's just had too much to drink you already know Tammy Palmer's brilliant Who's right, me or Jake? Well, folks, it's our last major headline show of the year that we're watching right now. But I'm enjoying it, yeah. It would have been my first choice, but I think they're very, very good and I've enjoyed it very much. I'm glad to spend it with you, Josh. 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 Glad to
I'm here for you. I'm here. I know you've got an addiction. I know you've got an addiction. Ali's great, great vibes, good stock. I've got some fruit and some sour that's jelly some beans. Pasta and a coke. I think that was a great and a nice little positive to end our trip to Electric Picnic on. So, some really bad news. Obviously, Arctic Monkeys are headlining tonight, Sunday night, which, uh, to be fair, the only band on this lineup that we care about. We saw them two times last weekend and we had a great time. We've just realized the stage time, they're on at like fucking 10.30 p.m. So we're gonna have to miss the Arctic Monkeys from High Green Sheffield, which is, it? yeah. That's annoying. Well, what if I give you a bit of a serenade of like some Arctic Monkeys for us? That'd be nice, like. Now they're mighty born, I see you frowning. Two things, two things. Uh, Arctic Monkeys don't play their good songs anymore, so they would never be playing Mardi Bum. Mm. And also, that don't really cut it. Arctic Monkeys are a bit more rock and roll than just some lad with an acoustic guitar. It's just so annoying, because I was really looking forward to seeing them. Oh, boys, why don't we use the Eco Flow Delta 2 and bring some real fucking rock and roll? Well, with the power of the Eco Flow Delta 2, we actually can bring some rock and roll to the tent. Ladies, one, two, three, four! for Delta 2 and um, it would be much appreciated if you click the link in the description because it can certainly help you out as well as it has helped us out but I am still annoyed about the Arctic Monkeys and about this fucking idiot playing his acoustic shut up so first time ever coming to Ireland obviously first time ever at Electric Picnic Ireland's biggest music event. Was it any good? Did we have fun? I know that's what you all want to know. And the answer to this one is yes. We absolutely did, or at least I did. I'll speak for myself. It's been wonderful. Everyone here has been so nice. Uh, the festival's got so much going on. It's so varied and diverse. I, I love it. I loved yesterday walking around Chalk, looking at the random shit. I've loved getting hammered. I've loved the general scene. Another kind of niche thing is there's not been too many people that, that know we are which has, has been nice it's been a bit refreshing not that that's a bad thing in england you know, we're very grateful but it's been nice being able to walk across the site without getting stopped um which is you know it is a luxury nowadays for us and, and we're grateful that that's the case but it's been nice it's been a bit more of a switch off a bit more organic i think and i'd definitely love to come back what do you think chuck i would say this is one of the best festivals we've done this year um, it's just been really enjoyable. I've had a great time with my brothers. Uh, as Vali said, the lineup's normally not important. Um, this year would have been nicer to see more acts and have more like options to go see. But I think the environment around like the Boomtown estate about it really like helps distract you from that and just being able to fully enjoy the festival, even if you're not there for the music. So in regards to that it gets a big old thumbs up for me it's good i wouldn't, wouldn't i wouldn't say it's been the best one of the year it's by far not the worst on, one mate, don't start with that 
It's been good. I think it's been one of the best. No, absolutely not. It's been fine. It's been. You've been miserable because you haven't been getting a DM back. I'd say this has been one of the best. Yeah, then again, it's your opinion. It's your bit. We've asked no, you for your opinion. God forbid I ever have an opinion again. Right, keep your shitty opinion coming then. So I think it's been. It has been good. Um, it's been very unique to a lot of other things, but even sprinkled in with like things we've seen before, like the stuff from Boomtown. Um, it feels like a nice festival. Lineup for me, a bit dead. Uh, we always say the lineup doesn't always matter, but you know when we're flying across, you kind of want to see some bands that you really like, and it was a bit difficult for me. However. It's been good vibes all around. Everyone's been super friendly. And um, yeah, it's been really good. Only criticism would be that fucking four hour fuck around at the start. But hey ho, it is what it is. Sorry, let me just wipe my mouth after washing it. Um, it's been very good. The whole vibe. Oh, sound enthusiastic excellent. about it then. It's right. It's been great. The whole vibe has been excellent. Um, from the very beginning, the little bit of fucking around, but we're accustomed to it now. Um, the lineup wasn't incredible, but you know what? The festival makes up for it. It's an all-round good festival. Folks, the festival is complete, and we are going to take advantage of our midnight flight home by spending some time in Dublin, somewhere I've heard a lot of good things about. And unfortunately, it is a Sunday, yep. which means for no fucking reason, things close early, even though it's 2022. We'll see what we can do. has been yet another unforgettable trip. A nice one to close out what is essentially our festival season, proper festival season. And it's been amazing. Well done to all. Cheers. The cheers. Yeah, to find out if it really does taste different like everyone said. It's weird. I think maybe it actually does a little bit. Mine tastes like apple tizer. It's Ireland's biggest party. It's Ireland's biggest party. It's Ireland's. It's Ireland's biggest party. <sighs> Folks. This video represents the end of festival season, even though it's not quite the end of festival season. The reason being is because it's the last time I'll be staying in a tent this year, and it's the last campsite experience that you're gonna get from us. There's still some uh, content that I'm very excited about to come later in the year. But I just wanna take this second here just to say thank you so very, very much to everyone that's supported the channel so far. It has been a riot and we've been able to do stuff we could never do if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you so much and watch this space. Thank you, bye-bye.